good, girl. these shackles off soon. I'm a goner. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. Everyone deserves a second chance. Come on. Please. to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I I wish I could give you some money or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. Some fat feller and his wife had a pig farm uh, northeast of Rhodes, near the border with Roanoke. Word is, he's got piles of money. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of info? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I'm not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here, quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop just there. Now, set it off.
You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Look, you stand over there and... Uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? I ain't sure. How about this, then? Any other ideas? Well, I could do this. It's a good thing you're quicker with a gun. Come on. Okay, I got it. Then I guess they'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, easy. 
You just get home safe, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Guess that's that, then. Uh. Hey, you don't mind, do you? Okay then.
Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir!
Let's go. Sorry, girl. Where are you? Swanson! What's the hold up? Mr. Borgen. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. <laughs> No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? I'm gonna go all in. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Check. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister.
Let's go here. Are you kidding me? Well, this is proper sport, eh, friends? I wish I'd asked that drunken fool to bless my card before he passed out. Okay. Gonna start small here. That's all you got for us? Call. I check. You should just go play checkers the amount you check. Look at you. Good. No. Uh-uh, no. Sorry to do this, fellas. How about that? Well, I got nothing. There we go. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Swanson! Get your hands off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Uh, ooh, hey. oh. ah. Get faster. Don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Don't make an enemy of me. No. You promised me. Reverend! Get off the damn track!
just a simple mistake. You can still be safe. Huh? What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 oh no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. I told him! <clears throat> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, good girl. Come on, girl. Uh... Yep. Hey, you're okay, girl. Shut up. I was wondering when he'd show up. How you doing? You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Thank you, Arthur. I should have known. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. It is. 
brother. What are you mumbling about? Why are we fighting the Philippines, huh? I don't know. Why are you so worked up about it? Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then. Cool. 